Hi guys, Richard from Digital Foundry here with some initial benchmarks on NVIDIA's new GeForce GTX 950, the card it has created to take on AMD's Radeon R7 370. It's effectively a cut down version of its existing 960, the primary difference coming down to CUDA core count. The 960 has 1024 shaders, while the 950 drops that back to just 768. That's a 25% reduction in compute, mitigated a little with a boost to core clocks. So in these benchmarks we're running an MSI Gaming 2G GTX 950 and that comes complete with a factory overclock and we're running this in line with MSI's R7370 and its GTX 960, both of which have overclocks of their own. None of these cards actually have reference designs, just recommended specs, meaning that board manufacturers are clear to tweak clocks as they see fit. So bearing in mind that these cards are aimed at the more budget orientated 1080p gamer, we've adjusted settings downwards a touch. Typically we either drop quality presets down a notch, or in the case of some games like The Witcher 3, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and GTA 5, we've replicated console settings as closely as we can. To add an extra dimension to the benches, we've also overclocked the 950 as far as we can take it while retaining absolute stability across our benchmark suite and in our overclock stress test. The result is that we can add a further 120 MHz to the MSI's core and 400 MHz, 800 MHz effective, to the GDDR5 RAM. The GM206 chip inside the 950 and indeed the 960 seems to hit stability limits at 1500 MHz boost clock and that's exactly where our overclock takes us. So let's talk numbers. Across the 9 games we've tested here, the GTX 950 is, on aggregate, around 10% faster than the R7370 but it's some way behind the non-cut down GTX 960. That sees a 13% uplift compared to Nvidia's new card. And as for overclocking, well that adds around 9% to the performance tally. So that's not enough to match the MSI GTX 960 we're testing here, which has a factory overclock of its own, but it provides something quite close to a like-for-like -like experience. In short, Nvidia went out to beat the R7370 and it has done so, but our concern is that launch pricing sees the card come in at around £20 less than the GTX 960, in itself a formidable overclocker. The arrival of the GTX 950 does see prices drop significantly on Nvidia's existing card in this category though, that's the GTX 750 Ti, so a great budget card is now even cheaper. We have a reference version of that and the 950 is actually around 44% faster, so if your budget can be stretched and you're eyeing a 750 Ti, the GTX 950 could be a more compelling choice, but we can't help but feel that market conditions will take the price down a little in the fullness of time, bringing it into line with the R7 at around £120. Pounds mark. Anyway, that's all for now. Accompanying the release of this video is another for those running budget CPUs. There we test the R7370 and the new GTX 950, not just on the i7-4790K, but also on an i3-4130. This gives you a much better idea of how these two cars operate when CPU limits are much more of an issue. But that's all we've got for now. Like the vid if it proved useful, and subscribe if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in PC and console tech. Thanks for watching. I'll do it my way. Whatever you think best, assassin. Good one, Mitchell. Just like Korea. More radiation. Two four. We've got a SAM launch at our twelve o'clock. Over. Contact. Contact. Deploying four countermeasures. Hold on. There's a gun underneath the dashboard! Use it! Are we safe? <laughs> Probably not. On your right! Shoot! Them!
Ambush! Clear the bridge!